Hey everyone, welcome back to my second video. As you can probably tell from the title, today I'm going to start talking about my Peace Corps experiences. People that know me know that I love talking about my service, but it's usually in response to what's going on around me. For example, I might see or hear something and say, oh, that reminds me of this one time in Guinea, or in West Africa they do things a little bit differently than that. With this series of videos, I get to tell the story my way. I get, I'm going to talk about why I joined Peace Corps, what were my experiences with my job, my secondary projects, my friends, my illnesses, what I felt when I left, and how I'm still feeling years after ending my service. I hope this series of videos can be used by people who are perhaps interested in joining Peace Corps or working abroad. Maybe they can look at these videos and use my stories to say, hey, Peace Corps might be the right choice for me. So let's start off with this video where I talk about why I joined Peace Corps. First of all, I was never one of those people who knew in high school or freshman year of college that they were going to be a volunteer. What I did know is that I wanted to travel and have experiences studying and living abroad. I studied engineering at the University of Southern California and USC encouraged its engineers to study abroad, either during their junior school year or during the summer. Unfortunately, the way that I had stacked my classes early on meant that I had already taken most of the courses offered abroad. That meant that my chances of being offered into one of the study abroad, uh, study abroad programs wasn't so great, and sure enough, I didn't get accepted to any of them. So my junior year passes by, and I see my friends doing study abroad programs in Madrid, in Rome, in Beijing, and quite a few others working on humanitarian projects in Central America. I was jealous of them. Super jealous. They were being exposed to different cultures, different languages, improving their own skills, making an impact, and having an amazing time abroad. My advisor noticed how I was feeling, and she started pushing other ideas onto me and also encouraged me to be on the lookout at job fairs for companies who work abroad. One of the organizations that showed up was Peace Corps, and right away I was hooked. Peace Corps volunteers live abroad. They learn new languages. They discover different cultures. They help people, and they have experiences that everyday Americans don't get to have at all. I decided to apply while at the same time applying to graduate school in engineering and education. Fast forward several months and I had to make a decision between Peace Corps, engineering grad school, and education grad school. I ended up choosing Peace Corps because I felt like it was then or never. If I had gone with grad school, I would have started my career, I would have been working, and I would have lost myself in some giant bureaucratic corporation. I just didn't think that there would ever have been a time where I could say, hey, I want to do something different for two years, like with a Peace Corps service. I also chose Peace Corps because it seemed exactly like the right choice for me. When I received my Peace Corps acceptance letter, it was to a small random country in West Africa called Guinea. Um, there wasn't a lot of certainty about it because one, I had never even heard of the country. Two, it was French speaking when I had applied for Spanish speaking countries in uh, South America. And three, it was uh, a program that had already been suspended several times. I said yes because all I heard despite that was adventure and challenges and opportunities to make a difference. And those are things, those are aspects that I enjoy perhaps a little too much in any position. So thanks for watching guys. Um, that's why I chose Peace Corps. If you have any questions or want, any, want to leave any comments, please uh, leave them below. Okay guys? Alright, take care.